Hi there, Pete here from Ashton's Cars, and today we're looking at the Mini. This is the uh, the Cooper Roadster, which is quite a sporty little car, two-seater, convertible, 1.6 litre, 120 brake horsepower, naturally aspirated engine in this one. So it's not the Cooper S, it's the standard Cooper. Uh, it's what they call an R59, so it's the two-seater convertible that's based on the four-seater convertible that's based on the R56 hatchback. So um, these are a little bit of an oddball car. They only made them for about three years, I think it was. Someone will probably correct me. I think it was something like 2012 through to about 2015 you could buy these. Uh, they did a few sort of oddball styles of Mini in that period because they did do a two-door coupe as well. And um, this was the convertible version, as you see it now. Um, obviously, they do a Mini convertible, which is a four-seater. This one's only got two seats. Uh, but you do get a slightly lower slung body, a lower roof line, and because of all of this, you get a little bit more structural rigidity in this model. So it's a real hoot to drive. Minis are fun anyway, but compared to a normal uh, mini convertible, this one's a little bit more taut, handles even better. And of course, you've got that sort of that X factor of this car that is a little bit unusual. It's quite sporty looking, and you don't see many of them around. This particular car has done 82,000 miles and it's uh, it's been very well looked after. It's finished in British Racing Green. I'm seeing it now as it's just come into me. It's come from a, a dealership actually up north. Uh, we drove this car back from Lancashire yesterday here to, to sunny South Wales and uh, drove beautifully. It's got cruise control on it, which is a, a real sort of bonus in this sort of size car. Six speed manual gearbox. So despite the fact it's relatively small, it's actually quite good on the motorway. So it is British racing green, but you have got these matte black sports stripes that uh, run from the front bumper all the way to the back here. Just taking you around it just to show you it. Apart from a couple of very light marks on the car, it's about as good as they come really when they're 10 years old. It's done 82,000 miles, so it's been used. It's got service history though, and it's got two keys. That's always a good sign. Tires are all good. We will obviously be putting this car through our workshop for a full mechanical preparation. And I will have my chap who comes around and does all the little paint and stent removal to get rid of any little marks and bits that we're not 100% happy with. But overall, it's quite a clean looking car. I think the color combination looks good. It's a bit of a winner. It doesn't look too garish. British Racing Green's always good on a Mini. And the only real mark I've seen on it is by here. There's a very small little dent there. Someone's opened the door into this door. You can only see it when it catches the light, but there's a little dent by there. There we go. Let's just see it then as I've pulled away. Which is pretty minor, isn't it, on a, on a car that's 10 years old. So overall, it's been looked after. We'll give it a little valet because the roof has got a little bit of greenery coming through on it. But look inside. I love the interior of this car. Half leather. It's got the DAB stereo as well. It's got the Bluetooth system. And it's got that cruise control, which uh, is quite a sought after option on these. These half leather seats are also heated. So yeah, very good spec inside really for, uh, for a car of this type. Now my plan here is to, uh, well, to jump in it in a second and, and get it opened up, I'll take that top off for a start, because it's quite a nice day here today. Well, that's obviously locked, it's inside, I'll show you that in a minute. It's actually got quite a big boot though, that's what I was going to show you on this, because where it hasn't got two seats, you end up with quite a huge boot for such a small car. So let's have a step inside here, it's, uh, it's in very good condition this, the bolsters are in pretty good shape, aren't they, considering it's done 82,000 miles. Something that you do need to look at on cars of this type, because they are sports seats, and you do catch them as you get in and out. So sometimes if people are a bit heavy-handed uh, and heavy-footed with their car, you do end up with rips and tears there. But this one's all good, it's all intact. So, just jumping behind the wheel. Traditional Mini dashboard. Um, if you've been in a Mini, you're probably well aware of the big central speedometer. We've got a rev counter by here, and it also gives you a little digital speedo on it when you're running learn along. Uh, one thing that's a little bit unusual on these open top ones is they have what's called the openometer that uh, there records how long we have the top down. Um, it's, it's certainly more of a gimmick than something that's of any real use, but uh, nevertheless, it looks pretty cool, and uh, I guess it's quite a cool little gimmick on this car. 
it reminds you that, well, it is an open top car, so why not use it as one? And with that in mind, let's start her up. So, as you can see on there, it's saying, I don't know if you saw that, it's, it's not due a service till 2025 or 19,000 miles, so that's all good. It's giving me a couple of warnings on because I've got a bulb out at the moment and I'm also a little bit low on the old fuel, but I've got 32 miles in it and we're not going out in it. We're just gonna start it up to show you. Now let me turn the fan off, as much as it's nice having the aircon on. Uh, I've got a roof to get down. So let's turn that first of all. You pull this down and then you turn it and then that's basically ready for the next switch, which is, the, oh, you gotta pull it, push it up, that's it. Push it up like that. Then press that switch, I think it is. There we go. Every day is a school day. That's it. It's that quick. That's that's all it does. Straight back in one go. It's a good, good roof on it, though. I've just been in the car wash and it didn't leak, so that's always a good sign. Um, and it's really quick and fast and easy to use. There's a little switch next to it as well, which you can put the little boot spoiler up and down if you wish to. Um, not that I do. Um, and you've got all your auxiliary functions down here on these toggle switches as well as these extra toggle switches up here for uh, for the lighting and the roof. So yeah, quite a fan of all this. This is the climate control system, which works a treat. It's got air conditioning. So if you don't want that roof up, you can still keep yourself cool. We've got a uh, USB port down the bottom there. So we can select uh, that for our stereo and it has got the, uh, the boost radio system with DAB and Bluetooth connectivity. So we can put our phone through there if we wish to. Um, this crisscrossing cloth on here and the half lever, that's a cost option on these. It does look classy though, doesn't it? I really love that. It's got auto lights, it's got auto wipers, and it's got cruise control. Uh, the switches for which are by here. Um, again, not something that you get on all minis. You basically buy a mini and then you spec it up to whatever you want. And this one's a particularly high spec. And if you look now, because I've taken this for a little car wash before, I'm on, ooh, 40 minutes almost of top-down action in this car so it's recording my every uh, every minute of uh, of top-down fun um so hopefully i'm scoring quite well on my openometer i'll just knock it off quickly and uh, show you the outside again and of course now that i've got the top down it really does look the business doesn't it i mean beautiful lines really really crisp looking car this is it's getting a bit closer and just zoom that out i love the chrome rollover hoops obviously i do love the color i love a british racing green mini proper fun little car this and yes it's, it's small but it's great to drive that 1.6 engine's got plenty of poke uh, and you haven't got the same worry as the, the turbo ones, which tend to have a few more reliability issues. These 1.6 normally aspirated models are a lot more reliable in my experience. Nice bright chrome work on the front there. There's a couple of dead flies on my number plates, but uh, I did say we've just come back from Lancashire in it and wasn't lying. So <laughs> apart from that though, it's got a nice shine to it. The wheels are in relatively good nick, a little bit of corrosion towards the centre of the spokes, but that's to be expected. Certainly not um, something that I would particularly worry about. Yeah, just a very pretty car, really. Looking at it like that, it does look very sleek and very smart and a little bit of fun. If you don't need um, four seats in your mini convertible, and it's probably not the car you're going to buy if you're using a family vehicle anyway, this one is definitely worth um having a look at because it's a little bit more fun to drive and i think just a little bit more rare having that deeply raked windscreen you know those rollover hoops they're just really cool features on these cars which you know you just don't you don't see these sort of styling cues on anything else so if it's of interest to you please give me a shout my number's 079 Three two eight seven three six four six, and I'm happy to arrange delivery of this car anywhere in the UK. I'm also happy to take your old car and part exchange. So please give me a ring, let me know what you've got, and we will work out a deal to suit you. That number one more time is oh seven nine three two eight seven three 
646. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I hope it's been of interest and hope to see you very soon. And please give us a like, please share, please subscribe to our channel for more car buying advice and more videos like this of cars we've got available for sale. Thanks for now.